The pandemic shook the whole world. With the quarantine beginning, church temples across the planet were closed. The buildings that have been being built, recreated for the last decades, as if trying to revive the dying in history stereotype that the church is a human structure, were emptied. The quarantine put an end to this illusion. It became clear to everyone that the church is the disciples of Jesus Christ. During the communist persecution, generations of Christians kept the faith for decades when churches were destroyed and closed. What was the church life of Christian martyrs in the camps and exiles of the Gulag, in thousands of cities and villages deprived of temples? In sorrow, they depicted the apostolic church, when no one else dared join them. And today the church is being reborn. It's not seen in grand services. Now church services are attended only by the disciples of Christ, as it was in the apostolic church. And the number of disciples is constantly increasing. But recently, many came to churches to a concert. They looked at the church services at a theater, spent time in churches and temples carelessly. They left and didn't return, relapsing into sin and vice. Now the doors of the temples are closed. And one day the doors of the kingdom of God will also be closed. And God forbid us to be late. The process of liquidating Christian churches in Europe is gaining momentum. Thousands of temples are being closed in all countries. The reason for this is the absence of parishioners and the princely sums required to maintain the churches. According to statistics in England, on Sundays half of parishes gather no more than 20 people. Less than 2% of the United Kingdom population attend Sunday services. At the same time, the maintenance of the temples costs £160 million. In Germany, in the coming years, it is planned to get rid of 700 churches due to the lack of funds for their maintenance and a decrease in the number of parishioners to 10 people. Over the past decade, hundreds of churches have been closed. Only 13% of German citizens attend church at least once a week. Netherlands, in the province of Friesland alone, 250 of the 720 temples were closed. In the near future, it is planned to liquidate a third of Catholic parishes. Only 10% of citizens attend Christian churches. Belgium, it is planned to close 108 churches in the capital. In Brussels, only 1.5% of the townspeople are practicing Catholicism. The average church attendance on Sundays is about 100 people. In total, about 12% of the population attend church in Belgium. In the capital of Denmark, Copenhagen, in 2013, 14 of 119 churches were closed due to low attendance and expensive maintenance. Church buildings are sold on the free market. According to statistics, only 2.5% of citizens attend services. In Sweden, less than 4% of church members attend church services, and there are only 2% of regular parishioners. At the same time, about 50 million euros have to be spent on temples maintenance. Church buildings are sold at minimal prices. Norway, more than half of the church buildings are in accident condition. According to statistics from the Church of Norway, approximately 3% of the population attend Sunday services. What is the conclusion from all this? God does not live in houses made by human hands, He dwells in human hearts. As the Apostle Paul said, Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. The first church met in the Jerusalem temple. When the temple was destroyed in 70 AD, did God leave the earth? Certainly not. The church every day devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread in their homes and to prayer. The Lord's commission began to be fulfilled, go to the ends of the earth, preach and conquer this world for Christ and for the gospel. God's temple is the apostolic church, the disciples of Jesus Christ, who are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. The apostle Peter wrote, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Jesus taught, you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. The true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. Jesus preached to many, but only 120 people gathered upstairs in the room, and it was them on whom the Holy Spirit came on, 
whom God has given to those who obey Him. Thus, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And if Christ is in us, then our body is dead for a sin, and our life is righteousness and holiness.